Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome, friends, to our running translation for Surah Nur. Today, I'd like to give you an introduction to Surah Nur, essentially where it is and what's going on. Then we'll follow ourselves through a running translation, a living journey through the reading of Surah Nur. But today, let's begin. Surah 24 in the Quran, before you get to any surah, look at what's before it and what's after it. The surah right before 24, surah 23, surah Mu'minun, starting out with Qad aflah al Mu'minun. Absolutely, the believers are successful. And here's why they're successful. And then 11 characteristics come down, surah Mu'minun. Surah Nur is then sandwiched on the other side by Surah Furqan. The first 17 verses on how to debate with the Quran, the last 11 ayahs painting the picture of a fully evolved man. Not a man who would be dealing with the desires of the belly and the desires below the belt. Two things that a man needs to learn to control in order to conquer his life. So Surah Furqan talking about man using his mind to debate with the Qur'an. The last 11 ayahs, وَعِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ حَوْنَا These two surahs in the order of the Mus'haf are sandwich Surah Nur. Surah Nur, Surah 24 is revealed in Madinatul Munawwara. Let's you, you, and those of you at home definitely Let's jot down what Surah Nur is about. In the 18th juz, we see, let's read together, Surah Nur is comprised of, comprised of the penalty of fornication, slander, and an oath of condemnation, and encourages one not to follow the footsteps of shaitan. If you could jot these down, each one of them is a very is a topic to be opened up, and your instructor will do that, bi'ithnillah. Comprised of the penalty for fornication. But the opposite is the penalty for slandering, the, penal the oath of condemnation. Now, if you get into a really sticky situation and it's husband uh, uh, oathing against wife or vice versa, there's an oath of condemnation, and then finally God says, وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ And do not follow the footsteps of shaitan. We'll go to an ayah to ayah breakdown momentarily. The surah deals then onwards, after ayah number 27, with social manners and the characteristics and issues regarding chastity and the veil of the Muslim family, among them being mannerisms of asking permission when entering the home. So you will see it's not just about promiscuity, but the walls set up around sexuality and hijab, the walls set up a, around a person to create a barrier to protect them. The seeking of permission when entering one's home, the lowering of gazes, helping widows to get married, and the rules for women who are in their post-menstrual phase regarding dress and beautification. A social order, social justice. But let's split this up just a little bit further if you all are ready to go. We're going to take ayah 1 through 6 and answer the question, why is this surah being revealed? As God himself will say, Suratun anzalnaha. A surah that we have sent down and we have made it obligatory and we have revealed there in verses, Fiha ayatin bayinatin la'allakum, la'allakum tadhakkaroon. A surah which we revealed, which we sent down and made that within it are obligatory rules and a revealed therein verses that are clear evidence that you may remember. You may be reminded, take heed. So today, ayah 1 through 6, why was the surah revealed generally? Then we'll see specific scenarios. One, a husband and wife where fornication, infidelity took place. In the next set, from 11 to 26, you could say, 11 to 26 is fair, the slander against a chaste woman, our mother Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, that will come up. And if you wanted to, 1 to 26 is going to deal with 
slander with what happens when you uh, uh, when there's infidelity, what zina, sexuality outside of the marriage, or excuse me, uh, intercourse outside of the ma- bounds of marriage, what that can do it to a society, ayah 1 through 6, 27 to 34, we'll move a little quick, the means of protection from illicit acts by limiting the chances of temptation and removing of all obstacles from natural satisfaction as in marriage. 27 to 34, consider it a, a resolution. Well, what am I supposed to do? God gives you the answer. 34 to 45, the connection between the light that the that these teachings spread in society and between the complete and comprehensive light of Allah. 35 to 45, thank you so much for this. When you get to this 35 to 45, it is possibly the most poetic couplet of the Qur'an, the most imagery, the most beautiful section, but it comes not to just say there's light in your heart. It comes tackling one of the, one, something that seems so deep inside you, sexuality. And there's a light greater than that, for 35 to 45. The comparison between the light of God's guidance, Qur'an, the teachings of the Qur'an, and the complete comprehensive of light, the complete comprehensive light of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's more to unpack there. We'll get there. 46 to 57, the aversion, the aversion the hypocrites show towards the manners required in dealing with Allah and His Messenger. Sexuality, once it loosens, you would be like, oh, why can't we just be some really well-mannered, promiscuous folks. Goes hand in hand, hon. It goes hand in hand that once we find promiscuity, sexuality, TikTok dancing, more and more and more normal, manners in general would be questioned. So an entire generation might see, uh, might you might be like, oh my God, they're dancing. Why is there a Muslim girls or guys dancing? On and they'll ask, what's wrong with that? What, what, why? I don't get it. The first thing to go is that tug of sexuality. Uh, modesty goes away. Manners run right out the door. 46 to 57, you'll unpack it. And concluding on 58 to 64, a return to the manners of entering homes and hosting when it occurs amongst relatives and friends. Then God brings it right back to the beginning. We are a mixed society, males and females and people of all sorts of backgrounds and traumas and people of different levels of promiscuity. We're going to live together. You're going to meet someone who says a word or two or makes a comment. You're going to live in a TikTok, Instagram subscription site world. And it's going to be constantly flaunted in your face. And in a world we live today, sexuality in general, gender is something under discussion. Oh Allah, I love your rules. I love your guidance. Oh Allah, thank you. In a time when there's so much confusion around, is it okay? Well, what's wrong? It's just love. I'm just enjoying myself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken control back over the light within us, that light of Iman, and that fluid inside us that creates life. Surah Nur is going to ask us to guard that life-creating fluid. Barakallahu feekum, friends. A privilege to introduce Surah Nur to you. Let's jump in together and go for a word-to-word translation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Make sure to check out Shaykh Kamal al makis confidential tafsir of Surah Nur, coming, learning to law, love the laws of Allah. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you so much, friends. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.